I am here to talk to you guys about my 2015 Mama experience. I wanted to make a video on it, but I never really had the time, so here I am with the time to finally make the video. Um, I attempted to make one before, and it was just way too long, so I was like, scratch that. I'm going to try and really, really simplify it down for you guys, so it's going to be a hopefully under 10 minute video. So let's get started. I'm going to start on talking about tickets. Um, I purchased my tickets through Taobao. Taobao is like a Chinese version of eBay or Amazon, just an online place where you can buy stuff pretty much. Um, I got it through a agent who will then buy the ticket for me. Um, so I paid a little more than the actual ticket in order to acquire the ticket, but it also means that I don't have to wait up personally to get the ticket. Um, so that's how I got my ticket and it is one of the um, easiest ways to get a ticket for Asian concerts um, and plus I've never bought any ticket overseas so I actually asked some of my family back in China and they said that this was the way to go um, so that is how I got my ticket at the venue so the concert was held in the Asia Expo Center it is a giant expo center um, so the bottom floor is where the concert hall is and upstairs where you come through um, the train station, it is where all the little stores are. Um, there were a lot of little stores set up from different um, companies. Um, we had one from Bibigo, which is like one of their um, restaurants in Korea, um, from Air Asiana, um, V App had a booth, Mnet had a booth. Um, so they all had their little store, and within those stores, you could actually go in and participate in competitions. You could try food, you could take photos in the V App booth. Like in the V App one, they had the V App screen set up. It looked like you were um, being v-apped, is that even a word? Uh, and in them you can actually win special tickets like um, there were early meet and greets which were held with some of the groups um, like one of them was twice I know and one of my friend entered in a competition and he won a little sticker that got him to go into the early meet and greet so even though the concert started like at 7 you could really go there as early as you want these stores will be there for you to participate in lining up um, on your ticket you actually get a line number um, that number actually tells you what position you are in line um, you they said that we would start lining up around 4.35, I think it was, but I don't think we got in until about 5.30. Um, you go through these giant gates, um, the metal detector gates, so you could not bring um, cameras, you could not bring stools, and you could not bring ladders. And I know that sounds outrageous, but there were people wanting to bring stools in and little mini step ladders. Once they've checked your bag, once they've checked you, you then go into line up with your number. So with your QE number, they actually group you in, I think it was in 50s, I can't remember anymore. Um, but I have a picture of what it looks like and I'll put it up here. But it was like um, you were just, they had these metal gates that separated you into your group numbers. You lined up according to your group numbers and then you go in section by section. Overall, there was no point getting in early or like camping out for your seats because of your number you are pretty much assigned to where you are even if you're standing which I think is a good system because it means um, it's easier for uh, me personally it means I don't have to wake up at crazy hours to go and line up um, and it's a bit more organized that way I reckon so inside the venue so I was in the VVIP pit which is the smaller pit at the front of the stage um, there are two points on this in this pit that most people want to get to um, the number one was right at the back where you can see where the idols are sitting and the other one was towards the middle um, where you had a view of the main stage the middle stage as well as the pathway where the people will walk down into the second stage um, so those two points were absolutely packed but apart from that um, it was a pretty chilled out um, mosh pit um, like I was 200 and something in queuing but I was still able to get right at the front um, at the barriers so it really was a pretty chilled pit even when the show started there was still quite a lot of room in the middle so you weren't really um, being pushed or attacked unless you were in um, those two prime spots that I talked about um, and I did try and get into one of those spots which is the one where you can see where the idols are sitting and there was a whole lot of pushing in there and it was a bit suffocating so I was like bye I am out of here did not sign up for this but about being mama and the whole crowd and everything um, Mama is a music awards show so it's very different to a concert. Um, you can't 
expect too much interactions because they're the groups are there to perform the groups are there to perform to a camera mainly um, you are there kind of mainly to create an atmosphere for them um, so you're not gonna get as much waving or as much eye contact and stuff like that because they're just trying to perform what they need to perform um, so I think the best attitude to have when going to something like this is to just really watch them and admire them rather than kind of yelling for their names. Walking through the night, there were the performances, there were hosts, there were the actors and actresses that came out. There were breaks, there were ad breaks, so yeah, we had the ad breaks as well. Um, and the night was overall pretty tiring because we were on our feet the whole time, um, but it was really, really enjoyable. I did really, really like the overall atmosphere of it and it was a really really great experience and you know I think to myself when will I ever go to a awards show like that so I thought it was quite a valuable thing to be able to experience a few general comments about things that I saw that you might want to know or want to be made aware of um, number one it was initially you weren't allowed to bring any cameras so actually they confiscated our cameras if it went off in the machine um, but when I actually got inside I don't know how they did it like if you know how they did it please let me know because I want to do it but literally pretty much everybody there had smuggled in a camera and I'm not talking about a little digital camera I'm talking about those giant ass DSL, um, DSLRs with lenses like this big I have no idea how they do it because there's bag size restrictions you know they had the metal detector and stuff like that my dad did tell me later that they had people passing things under under the rails once they were inside so I don't know maybe that was a thing uh, but despite getting those giant um, beautiful HD pictures it was annoying because um, pretty much at any point of the night your view was slightly obstructed by a giant camera even though there was no ladders or like stools um, accepted people were still able to smuggle these in as well which is I have no idea how they do these things they are literally a magician um, but what they do is they put the stool in the middle of the pit and they will stand up on the stool to take the photos which you know if that's their job you know good for them but once again another thing that will obstruct your view um, and you might even be moving through a crowd and find yourself stepping on a stool because sometimes they just put the stool down and they don't really want to take it away they just leave it there another thing I wanted to talk about is fans because I told you initially it is a world show there are fans from all different bands there um, courtesy and manners of these fans were pretty bad I have to say um, during one point girls generation won an award so girls generation was actually up on the stage doing this um, acceptance speech but um, a lot of the people in the corner of the pit who were trying to take pictures of EXO were just um, manically calling out EXO's names um, really really loud as well um, I found to be extremely rude because um, even if you're not a fan of them it is their award it's their time you have every right to respect them um, if it was an ad break feel free to call call out for them as much as you want but during their speech I just think it is very very rude for them to do that so that was something I was like not very very cool with um, but well you know I couldn't do much about that the last thing I wanted to talk about is um, interactions with the idols idols don't tend to interact with the fans unless there's an ad break um, which I think is a sign of respect and I, I think that's great obviously they will smile and they'll post with pictures throughout the night but I mean like during one of the ad breaks Jackson like kind of came down and like was talking to some of the fans um, things like that don't really happen until there's ad breaks so um, it is an opportunity that you do have opportunities interact with them um, but it's not like a concert where they will give you fan service constantly overall I had a really really fun time in Mama it was a really really great experience I will go back one year but I think I will buy the red carpet ticket and a sitting ticket because you know it's just a different experience plus I want to see what the red carpet thing is like yeah there's just I apart from those few things I mentioned before I had a really great time and uh, great experience and yeah um, if you want to know anything else if you have any other questions feel free to ask me I guess in the comments and yeah that's it bye